Ah, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my B-Blog. I am here relaxing. The show is over, but I'm getting ready for the next one. This is what it takes, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, do the shows that I do. Um, let me give you a back brief on my show. Let me, let me give you a back brief. Uh, since now I'm doing three shows, three, th- blah, 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 three shows, Every day right now. How I get ready for the show, it's, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. I don't have no topics. I did not use to- I hate topics. Topics are so boring. Because when you have a topic and somebody has to talk about something, you, you can't get off the su- subject that you already got set. So that's why I have like a free, um, a freelance show. So somebody, we could be talking about football and then somebody else can talk about NASCAR. We can easily go into it. We can flow right into it. So, yeah. I already was burned when I first started the morning show, um, with doing topics, set topics. It, it didn't work. Even though if it was very interesting, it never did work. So I just like to do a freelance show. But, yeah, there's a lot of work I need to do after this. Uh, got to get ready. And then Granny, she haven't, she haven't wrote me yet. She ain't, she ain't sent me nothing yet. She she didn't send me a Skype notification or anything. But then again, I realized she got kids. Um, right now she got five of them, and she's taking care of right now. So I understand that. But she's my co-host, and I gotta let her know. But I know, cross my fingers, she gonna give me a call and everything. Man, I'm telling y'all, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what jobs y'all have. When you get to do this. Three, this is like working, going to work three times in one day. Three times, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not talking about staying um, nine to five or nine to nine. I'm not even talking about that. I mean, you're doing three shows, but you're doing something that you love. Ladies and gentlemen, I love to do this. Sunday, I would just want to, I want to do a show. I, I, I want to do a show so bad. I want to work on it, but I had to take two steps back and be like, I can't break the schedule. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I just love this so much, ladies and gentlemen. It's like my wife. It's like my girlfriend. I I, I love them. I love her to death. She's always going to get it. She's always there. She she never goes nowhere. She wants me to broadcast. <laughs> Want me to broadcast and I enjoy it. And another thing about me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care about numbers. Numbers don't matter to me. I can entertain one person, and I'll be happy. Because that one person will tell their friend, their friend will tell their friends, their friends will tell their friends, their friends will tell their friends. Tell their friends. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a, it's a trickle effect. It's a trickle down effect. Somebody going to know about the shit. They're going to know about it. They will have no choice but to tune in. Now, about the people that don't tune in, I know uh, I got a lot of Facebook friends. I put the status up, and they'd be like, what the hell? Like, what's this? You know, and I, you know, one time I just gave up asking people, you know, do you take the time to watch the show? And they'd be like, oh, I watch, I watch. I know they don't watch. Maybe sometimes they do. I just came to the point of where, you know, if I relied on people to watch it, why, why am I doing it? But in the back of my mind, and I proved this fact many, many times, they're going to have no choice but to tune in. If they see me putting this status up many times in a day while I'm doing the show, they're going to eventually gonna click on and be like, what is this? And they're going to realize what I'm doing and what I'm all about. My goals with this show, ladies and gentlemen, is it's pretty stout. It's, it's pretty stout. I want to change people's lives. I want to entertain. Will this show ever get bigger than me? Maybe. Will I be ready for it? Hell yeah, I will. Hell yeah. But I will never forget the people that made it happen. Never gonna forget about it. I'm happy that from from the successes of life of my work. If I knew the stuff that I knew now, then we would be coming back as rock stars, ladies and gentlemen. That's how big life of my work was. That's a big fan base we had. We still got a loyal following, still following us and doing that thing, ladies and gentlemen. 
No lie. But I will say this. I'm happy that I'm starting, that Lock My Right gave me the foundation to work upon, to build on it. And right now, construction is looking pretty damn good. And I want to keep this up. And that's why I want to do this V blog with y'all to keep y'all updated. And for those definitely newbies that keep seeing my statuses coming up and like, wow, what the hell more is producing? Well, guess what? Now you know. I'm doing my shows. For those I know that's not that busy or got a little time on their hands, tune in once in a while. Tune in and see what you've been missing. See why 165 hits views on my blogger. 33 hits on my um, form and rising. About 400, <coughs> excuse me, around 323 tuned into the show. See why? And that's only going to grow. And why Up All Morning with Alamante is the hottest show. Why the higher ups from Born Live when I told them that I was going to do the break show was going to be coming up soon with Granny, it's hitting such a shock wave of our life. You tell me. Tune in and you will find out. This is my first entry and I hope it has a last impact and one of many. But right now, I'm going to take a shower. Cut this wool off my damn head and take a shower. So, more show was a success. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for making Up All Morning the Hottest Show on Vlog TV. Thank you so much, minus all the technical difficulties. So, this is in this entry. And remember, tune in, same back time, same back channel. Do your scum. Goodbye.